everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video we are going to talk about uh, a new designer stitch pattern, the tailor dress. Tailor dress is made for uh, knit fabrics, for medium knit uh, fabrics and uh, one of the most important features of this uh, pattern is that uh, it has cup sizing. Most of the time you see patterns made for knits um, without cup sizing, even if the designer normally in woven patterns will offer um, uh, cup sizing, but in niche uh, most of the time uh, the idea is that uh, most of the fit is going to, to be accommodated in the stretch of the fabric. But it's not always, not for everybody is working a pattern without, uh, without darts. So in this case for the tailored dress you have uh, bust darts and uh, cup sizing as I said. Other features of this pattern is of course uh, one of the cutest is the keyhole here in the front. Very nice, very easy to make also. The bounded uh, neckline, the flounces on the sleeves. The sleeves uh, in the pattern you have uh, two lengths, the shorter length like this one with the flounce and also the three-quarter sleeve with the flounce. Of course the sleeve uh, is easy to, uh, to make shorter and I do advise that if you want to make the sleeve shorter you should uh, make the sleeve shorter, the sleeve part and uh, not the flounce because the flounce is, I mean, it's very easy to mess up with it so make the, the sleeve and let the flowers as, uh, as by, by the pattern also the lengths uh, there are three lengths in the in the pattern uh, one above the knee uh, knee length and over the knee with the flowers uh, this one the one i'm wearing and i'm going to put a picture here is made uh, with uh, so the shortest length with uh, with the flowers and this one is without it's just an A-line uh, dress. Um, originally I made the uh, size, so the, the sizes are the typical uh, sizes from uh, designer stitch with the uh, cup sizing from uh, B, C, D and double D. And uh, I made, this time I made size uh, 3B and I made the test garment in this uh, crazy looking uh, scuba. Um, the pattern is asking for medium weight, uh, medium weight uh, knits and I really think that you should not take very slinky jerseys because everything is going to drop a lot and uh, uh, you know you have to adjust for, uh, for, for the uh, vertical stretch of your fabric so the darts are going to be much lower and things like that and um, I made this one, this is a I would say a medium weight scuba is a little bit spongy, much uh, spongier I should say than this one or this one. And uh, based on the on uh, this uh, on this test garment, I uh, had to raise the, the dart one centimeter, I think. I also had to make uh, to make an um, a sway back adjustment or two centimeters I took out I think from the back. Now it's uh, very nice and uh, straight. And also. Um, I took uh, I think four centimeters from the length of the of the skirt part because it was uh, it was really too long on me and of course you should uh, assess the the length after you are uh, putting the the flowers on also if you make uh, only a test garment put the flowers on because then you can see you can truly see what is the the length of uh, of the dress um, the pattern has a um, seam uh, in the back that you can, uh, of course, you can use to give a little bit more shaping for your dress, and um, yeah, of course, you can uh, you can omit the the keyhole, but I think it's really it's a very cute detail and very uh, very it's really very easy to to make, and it's just uh, you you sew uh, the strip of fabric, you sew it uh, right sides together with a seam allowance of uh, six millimeters. And then it's very important to keep that six millimeters all the way around because then you are going to flip uh, the, the the strip of fabric to the inside over the seam allowance. And if your seam allowance is not all the way the same uh, width, then you have uh, of course a very messy uh, edge. So if everything uh, is uh, sewn with the right uh, seam allowance and equal, then you have a very nice uh, straight uh, edge here. Uh, the same way is also the the neckline is also bounded in the same way right sides together flip it over the seam allowance and then stitch in the ditch or top stitch in this uh, version i chose to top stitch everything this is um this is medium to i think the medium is not really light 
medium to light, I should say, also kind of scuba with uh, with uh, with a little bit of structure. And this one, this beautiful fabric, is uh, also a light scuba crepe from Minerva uh, Fabrics. And you see, I'll have a blog post there soon, or in a few weeks. And then uh, there, I'll, I'm going to talk about all the details uh, with uh, with this fabric. Um, so those are the changes I made. The sway back, uh, most important, and uh, the 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 darts, the darts adjustment, the the height of the darts. I had to raise them a little bit up, and also, of course, when you are uh, making your test garment and you are uh, looking where the darts are hitting, be sure that you wear the same bra also with your final dress because, of course, that is also going to. Uh, change the height of your breast and of your bust so be sure that you are going to wear uh, the same uh, kind of uh, of, uh, of a bra um, for finishing this is a uh, this flounce is uh, is uh, cut it as a circle so there are no uh, no seams here and that's why I chose on this one also to let it raw the edge because I think it's hanging much nicer. Here I chose to make a hem, very easy. I just uh, st um, uh, stitched it with a sewing machine and then I trimmed very, very close to the edge. I don't think you can see that so far. I trimmed it and then you have a very, uh, very neat edge. I used the same for the flounce at the hem and um, as I said, for this one, everything is cut with uh, with a rotary cutter, and then you have a very nice uh, straight uh, edge. And this fabric is also not uh, not uh, fraying, so there is uh, not necessary to to finish it uh, on other way. And uh, because you also don't have any uh, any side seams in this uh, in this flounce, it's also very neat here. There is nothing showing. Um, of course you can make this in a lot of fabrics i saw in the if you are going in the uh, to the shop for this pattern there you can see also all the tester pictures they are made of course in a variety of uh, fabrics or kind of weights and even lighter weights than suggested and if you like the look of course you can try that and you can do that and there are girls that made them in a much li a lighter jersey than, than my scuba and it's looking very nice and of course, as I said, you can make the dress with the bottom flowers or without, or you can take all the flounces away. But I think the flounces uh, and the keyhole, they are, the, they are nice features on this pattern that uh, they are making it uh, very, uh, looking very nice. Um, I had a lot of fabrics in my stash for this dress and it was really difficult to stop uh, at this one, finally. This one came much later from Minerva Fabrics and uh, I decided immediately that is the perfect for uh, for the ta for Taylor. I had this one first uh, in my mind because it does have uh, the stretch, uh, the amount of stretch required. You need to have like 20-25% also vertical stretch and uh, enough uh, horizontal stretch. But I think with this one, my biggest concern was how to put this uh, this this print. It's pretty big, and I think it will work much better if the uh, if the if uh, the, the you know the pattern was cut it, um, on the cross uh, length. But uh, then the stretch was not enough, so that's why I chose not to use uh, this one. It is very very pretty. It's a very light uh, scuba also. Another option was a ponty and I know that there were testers that did use ponty knit and uh, that is also uh, working very nice. It's a stable knit and um, this one is also very nice with all kind of prints. Also an idea for the for the tailor. And of course, if you make it very short, it uh, can look very, very summery and very nice. And this one is also, uh, it was also an option with the flowers. But uh, as you can see, also a lot of stretch. But I had to, I had to pick one. So I uh, picked uh, this one out. This one is very nice with, uh, with, uh, with the kind of uh, structure on it, uh, PK uh, structure. And uh, as you can see in the pictures, um, it's also uh, it's a perfect uh, weight for for this pattern. Also very nice. Uh, there is uh, one tester or two, I think, 
who made this dress in uh, velvet also very nice uh, very nice fabric to use for the tailored dress so uh, this is what I had to say about the tailored dress I think uh, only having uh, a pattern for knit fabrics with cup sizing is a really really great uh, um, it's a great reason to have uh, to buy this pattern because it's really great. You can use it later for t-shirts. You can make whatever with it. You can make it uh, cut it as to make it uh, for the bodies for a skirt, uh, for the bodies for of a dress, and then put another kind of uh, skirt on it. I think you can go uh, all uh, all kind of ways with this pattern, having the the darts and having the, the cup sizing that you can use in your advantage to get a really nice uh, and fitted uh, garment. Um, as I said, on the designer stitch uh, shop uh, you can see all the tester uh, uh, versions. Also on their Facebook group, the girls are posting there all the time. And there you can see also uh, the dress in all on all kinds of bodies and on uh, all the sizes. Um, if, you, uh, if you are interested in, uh, in a small video on how to, to bound the, the keyhole, I'll be happy to, to make a short one and to place it here on YouTube. Put it in the comments and I'll do my best to, to help you. Um, all the links, they are going to be here in the video description. And so from the Designer Stitch uh, Facebook group, from uh, their shop, from their shop is going to be an affiliate link. And if you are buying something through my link, a small commission is going to come to me with no cost for you. But in this way, you are going to support me. Thank you very much if you are going to do that. If not, it's okay. Thank you again for watching uh, the video anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, give me thumbs up, share it with your sewing friends and, um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put your notifications on to uh, get a, a message when a new video is coming online. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!